Hello once again and welcome to Chrono Trigger. Uh, when we last left off, it's actually been a little while since I've recorded any of these videos. Video editing can be an enormous pain and I've been dealing with a pretty major issue. Essentially one of the things that happened was one of my uh, files, one of my video files got corrupted and not only was it like incapable of being loaded it was actually <laughs> I was actually having trouble deleting the file it had gotten to that point and it would actually crash Windows Explorer whenever I tried to open it and it's like oh awesome so that's great so I looked up tutorials and stuff to, to figure out how to get rid of it and thankfully I finally did manage to take care of it but I actually probably could use this group. Yeah. There are going to be people who are resistant to various uh, magic styles. And so it's good to have the, the balanced group of all of the styles. But, so yeah, had to deal with the corruption of one of my files, which was really frustrating. And also the fact that uh, when the recording software that I use, uh, records in what's called dynamic frame rate which means that the the video and the audio are recorded not necessarily at different frame rates but they're recorded in different ways so whenever you play them together in uh, Adobe Premiere which I use for the recording it it just runs into all sorts of problems but so, this is why we, <laughs> this is why we rob everyone. So, if you remember in the last episode, we finally got Ayla's charm ability, which, ah, uh, junk, I need to, she needs to be in the party so I can steal some more stuff. <laughs> I'm going to load up the thing, I'm going to load up the FAQ that has all of the <laughs> the charm items, but yeah, essentially it, it took me quite a bit of time to try and figure out how to properly get everything together to be able to actually I don't know, actually record these, actually uh, encode these and make them make them what I post onto YouTube. You know? <laughs> so, I don't know if that information of me being delayed in Recording is, uh, welcome or not, <laughs> but regardless, that is, that is what happened. So, I'm still trying to figure out what is, stop hitting each. My fingers are, like, really, really stubby, so I know a little bit of guitar, and I have been playing around with that. And I'm I'm by no means good at guitar. Like, please please do not misjudge me as some talented genius. But I, I I know enough to be able to get by. I should say I know basic chords and you know Christian worship songs. If I'm like leading music for church, they they're not exactly the most uh, creative <laughs> of things. So. So I, I get by, and I'm trying, and I'm trying to develop things. The worst thing, though, for me is bar chords, because those accursed things are so difficult for my fingers. Because, well, one, I'm just getting started, and so I don't have all of the, the, calluses and sort of muscle memory and coordination that are required. But my fingers are not the longest things in the world. They're actually, I would say, they're not especially short, but they are a, a little shorter, from what I could tell. But the worst thing is, they are chubby. They're like little sausage fingers. And that makes it especially difficult whenever I'm going around trying to... trying to make a bar chord. 
because it's it almost feels like I'm trying to put like a towel, like a rolled up towel, onto the core, onto the uh, the neck of the guitar, and just trying to play from there. It's it's awful. <laughs> it's so bad, but uh, it's like soft cookie dough. But so yeah, I I'm not very good at guitar, and I looked up some hints and tutorials on it, and everyone was just like, well, you know, you'll get used to it. You'll get better. And I was like, Thank thanks. No, no tactics. No, like, scrunch up your hand into a fist and expand it out again. It's, it's not, like, great tips to make your fingers thinner or, like, just tie them to a tree and pull on them a bit to make them longer. No, no, just, just, just keep at it. <laughs> But oh yeah, I should I should talk to the people at Inhasa, shouldn't I? This is me trying to rush ahead. Which I guess is not a bad thing. We're already twenty twenty something episodes in. So I guess it's not exactly rushing. But I wanna see if they say something new. I do love this music too. The Kingdom of Zeal music is amazing. Alright, let's see what Inhasa has to say. It's been a while since we've been here. Um, okay, so Doreen says the same thing. Okay, no. She says the same thing. Okay, they say the same thing. You might you be. Yeah, they, so they say the same thing. I'm going to assume that Kajar is the same. So, while we were on our journeys in the, uh, the future, I guess, compared to here, while we were unlocking all of those seals, we found how to open the, the North Temple, is what it's called, the that pyramid of energy and there's no way to get to it here and it's hidden or it's yeah it's blocked from view in 600 AD but at the very least in 1000 AD we were able to get a hold of it so there's no way to get the other item that's in there it's a it's a cool blade um, but we'll get something better later in the game so there's not really a need for it and also we got some pretty sweet items and weapons just from stealing them from the <laughs> from the locals so so there's an interesting question as well I'm actually gonna I'm gonna switch to Ayla because I mean Ayla is definitely going to be useful I will however switch to I'll switch to Luca. Since we'll have a bit of healing with Ayla. And if there's any real dangerous times, then we'll be able to to deal with those. As need permits. We have items. We have like plenty of items, so. So Kajar is gonna be fine. Nothing really unique in Kajar. Ooh. Will the blackbird say anything else? So this music is from Magus' castle, which is interesting. Okay, this is the same thing. Symbol of... Okay. Nothing unique for them. It, it, it is a little bit disappointing to... to have nothing unique happen whenever we go there. Okay, just a quick check to see if Kajar says something unique. I know I said I would just assume that it's fine, but they are closer to the palace. Hmm, do experiments with the queen. Okay, yeah, no. Since a strange aura of kindness. Oh, does the... the new... Does the new sell those load shields? 
I'm not sure what I would use it for, but I mean, hey. Hey, we healed. Yay. Is that Shala's pendant? Uh... Yes. <laughs> Unfortunate. Maybe maybe we can go back and reset. <laughs> It'll be all right even if we're not able to get load shields. Consequences. No. <laughs> Okay, good. So, load vest and load helm. Maybe I... Two of those. Maybe I buy two of those. So, I can't remember exactly where we got the load vest and the load helm for Chrono, but... Very good. Come again. Let's see, then... Yeah, she definitely needs something better. So... Uh, the time hat prevents stop and slow. Um... Let me actually put that on Chrono. It's slightly better defense and makes sense. Okay. The, the, the Lumen Robe increases her magic defense. Ah. Uh, So that's five more, but what am I losing? Ten? Okay. So she has really good magic defense. She actually has really good de magic defense too. But I will change her rock helm. Because, oh my goodness, she still has a rock. Oh my goodness, Robo still has a rock. Or a gold helm. He, his was actually worse than Marl's. Okay. Interesting, though. That was new. That was different. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. We discovered something. Scratch, scratch. Ooh. Scratch, scratch. Phew. Scratch, scratch. <laughs> Found a magic tab. <laughs> it says nothing. We shall not speak of this again. Okay, so none of these people, I don't think. Yeah. All of those people say the same thing. But we're actually going to take advantage of those. Organize. Use. Still have that mega elixir. Which I am I am pretty happy about. Give Luca that, and actually give the speed tab to Luca as well. I do enjoy how I still have over ninety of each of those things for the prehistoric era. Eh, eh. It's just such a pleasant song. For how, <laughs> for how arrogant the society is, it's they, they they know how to make music. Ba 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 da. All right. Almost back to where we were before. Thankfully... Oh no! No, I goofed! <laughs> Thankfully, I don't think Gollum will be bothering us. Uh, I'm sure that's ear-piercing to everyone else, too. There we go. Zeal Palace. Still that ominous music. 
which makes this the center of the universe. Oh, you people. The queen took Shala with her to the Ocean Palace. We enlightened ones will finally attain immortality. That glow! Is that Shala's pendant? The source of our energy lies deep below the sea. Now that its exact location has been found, the Ocean Palace will be... Uh, isn't it already built? The way to the Ocean Palace is through the Queen's Hall. The day will come when all may see the shining new Mammon machine. The Wandering Prophet is amazing. All his prophecies... Okay, yeah, no. He... So let's make sure we're healed up. If I'm reborn, I hope to live in a land full of green forests. So... I wonder if that's an ancestor of Fiona's. Chrono Trigger likes to leave little, fun little hints. Right. So, we were in... This leads to the Hall of the Mammon Machine. Yes, yes. So they say the same thing. So if we go in here... The Mammon Machine is gone. And that's kind of ominous looking. It sort of looks like a face. That background glow. The Mammon Machine was moved to the Ocean Palace to obtain the raw energy of Lavos. Okay, well we've gotta we've gotta deal with that. Got to deal with that. Ah, yes. So that's the same thing that he said before. Oh. Time to save. <laughs> At every opportunity. That's the that's the answer here. Bluey. Did they not say anything? Yeah, they don't say anything. Okay. The Queen took Shala with her to the Ocean Palace. Okay. The Ocean Palace is complete. Zeal will rule forever. Phooey. Why is the Prophet allowed inside while I'm stuck with guard duty? Ha! There you are. I let the Prophet go, knowing he'd mess up sooner or later. I have no use for you anymore. Your history! Oh, boss fight. This might be a mistake. Right. <laughs> I'm just going to keep doing this. <laughs> Okay. Well, the good thing is that it doesn't do anything worse than that. Um, so Ayla's gonna get hit by it. Darn! Got him. Ayla learns Tailspin. Good. Learns Dual Tech Fire Whirl. So Ayla has Fire Whirl now. Alright. No! I'm going to be immortal. I can't be beaten now. And away he goes. ominous lack of music. So, I looked it up, and he, he won't actually provide anything particularly good or helpful. Um, I totally forgot to use Charm on him, but in the other sense, he would have hit me with an 
iron orb. <laughs> whether I was attacking or whether I was using charm. I believe it's just a simple counterattack thing. So, let's find out where this takes us. Deep down. Well, that's slightly intense. And this music. The black energy grows. Something scary is waking up. Shala, raise the power of the mammon machine to its limit. Shala, you dare disobey me? Oh, all right, mother. Oh, what bright splendor! The incredible power of Lavos! Ah! Uh. Well, that doesn't bode well. Alright, so, we're going to use a shelter. Just to make sure. I know we didn't really need it, but... It's helpful. I will say it's very helpful. And we'll save as well. We'll save here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 